Hey guys, in this video I just want to do some improvements and fixes because we haven't done it in a while and also I found a few issues that might cause us some trouble later so we will go through output log and try to get rid of all of the warnings. So first thing I want to do is fix the puzzle door because I have set it up a little bit wrong here when we open the door. We are actually changing the position of the door to be minus 150 in the game which is a world location. So if you were to place your door on the hill, it would go from that hill all the way under your landscape. We don't want to do that, we only want to move them by the height of the door. So we just need to change it here slightly and we go from Z value, we will subtract and whatever the height of your door is, I think for me it's like 260, 280, maybe 280 and that will be the B value. And then, when you move the door, it will open actually the same way. But this time, for example, if you were to place them uh, higher, so if I select the door, and it would be on some kind of a hill or something, this time it shouldn't go under the landscape. stay so it's only the height of the door so play with the values so it actually matches the next thing I wanted to fix is that if you pick up items that have multiple stacks so like this iron bar I'm going to drop it and then it remembers the item info of the drop item so when you pick it up your notify now says looted for iron bar looted for for iron bar and again for iron bar because that is the stack of the item info that we're dropping but we're still looting only four iron bars so what we need to do to fix it is in the player blueprint when we're dropping item so drop item we're going to from this drop item info set members connect it here and then on this track select stack and we're going to set it to one so no matter how many items we're dropping we're still dropping only one item anyway it just we need to reset the stack as well so this will do it for us item info goes here and then we're passing it to dropped item info now it should be fine uh, sorry drop four and I'm picking up just one. All right, next thing is kind of a big one. So you probably noticed this PBIK effector if you did the same thing, same setup for MetaHuman as I did. And that is because our IK trace is not actually working and it's trying to work. The reason for that is because when I set up MetaHuman originally, I wanted to do it in the simplest way possible. So I just basically turned off the IK trace by changing the bone name. But to enable the IK trace again, we need to create some virtual bones. For that, let's go to mesh, select your skeletal mesh. Here, select the skeleton. And we're going to create some virtual bones by right clicking on this root. Here you got add, add virtual bone and select the root. This one you can rename to IK root foot. And then we're going to right click on this add another virtual bone and here search for uh, foot and we need to add these two so foot r and foot l so select this one first add another one and this time it will be the left one so don't do the ik one those are the ones that are not working on metahuman we need to actually create our own so foot left foot right we don't need to change the name or anything you can leave it like this save it and then we go to our animation blueprint we can get it from the player so again search this anim class open it up and here in the anim graph we do have this should do ik trace which is not actually working so i'm not sure why we're bothering with all this i kind of forgot about the fact that i changed the bone names so if you want to make it work we open it up here we select this rig and we need to right click on the root 
and refresh and here for the mesh you select skm money or in some cases it might be skm queen if you're using that skeleton for me it's a sk money select it and now if you search for pb you got these virtual bones here so if you don't see them then probably using the skm queen so select that one and now we have a virtual bones here here in this setup we need to change all of these ik foot l and ik foot right to the correct one to the one that we created so let's do it here just search for vb l vb right uh, here as well so vb left vb right pelvis is fine and here was the bone that i actually changed originally we just disable it so uh this one needs to be vb left vb right don't change it here this is correct and here we change it back to pelvis what it was originally now compile and save save all sometimes it does need the engine restart but in most times it should work and now if you go next to some objects and try to like walk on top of it you can see i'm placing one foot on top of the stone so that means the ik trace is working again right because before we were just either you go like through the texture with one foot or you stand up with both of the feet so that is fixed next thing we can do is uh, we will have this error well there's quite a lot of them but if i clear this and go to pick up some items and equip them doesn't matter which ones as soon as they have some stats and i'll check the output log i have this one the player hat uh, divided by zero basically divide double double and the reason for that is that in the player hat if I go to player hat widget in the graph here when we're calling this update stats bar which is every time we change our stats we're calling to update the player hat as well but here we're setting the new percentage but sometimes the stats only have max value which is all of them apart from stamina mana health and breath now and we're trying to divide them and make a new percentage which is basically dividing by zero because they only have one stat they don't have the current one so that throws us some errors what we need to do is either you do one more switch here and just set this percentage only on health mana stamina and breath but then you also have to connect all of this or you can just disconnect it from here and we're going to set it separately on all of this so on health Copy it, mana, uh, stamina, from here, and then breath as well, because that one is using current and the max stat. Same thing. And this way it won't be trying to set on like armor or anything else. So now if I were to go to output log, clear it, play the game and equip something, then I won't have that error anymore. Warning. I don't see at the moment any warnings, but then I also notice that... Uh, there is one more thing that when we try to upgrade or any other widget, like do anything else with the widgets, it will give us error this time, which is not even a warning. Error is a little bit more serious. And that is that we're trying to set focused on unfocusable widget. And this only changed in Unreal Engine 5.5, .5, so it wasn't a massive issue before. But now basically we had this setup that for example, in inventory icon, when we right click to get the options widget, here we 
doing this is focusable and we're trying to set it but now the unreal engine won't let you do that unless the options widget itself so if i open it up and select this option widget has this is focusable so if this is off it will give you the warning or error actually so we just need to turn it on on all of the widgets that need to be focusable and we don't need to use that variable that we have so if i remove it from inventory icon here I don't need it anymore because automatically when it opens it will be focusable so we just need to replace it and do it on all of the widgets so for example slider as well has the same thing so select slider focusable and select it you don't even need to remove the uh, boolean variable but you need to enable it on all of the widgets that won't be a problem later because we already made this base widget which we will be creating all the widgets from and that one has all the settings done already so won't be an issue in the future you just need to change the ones we have that's another one done then there was one thing with widgets to close so the thing that we have when we setting quick slots and then from quick slots we trying to close that widget so if i were to set quick slot and then remember when i set it it closes automatically after half a second but if i were to click on it click somewhere else and close my inventory then after half a second it will still try to give the input to interface which doesn't exist anymore because i closed it and now i do have a mouse and i can't move because it failed to give the uh, input mode to interface which doesn't exist so this actually breaks the game so what we need to do is in the interface when we close it so go to interface on key down when we press i and then we do have this close widget setup which checks if we need to pass the input to another widget or if we need to close it and give it to player so when we're giving it back to player we also need to get player reference we're going to set interface reference which player has created in there and we're going to leave it empty so we're going to empty that reference every time we close inventory and then in the player in the close open widget function which would give us trouble in that quick slot we can now just move this back uh, this interface I'm going to convert to validated get and only if it's valid I'm going to set input mode to interface but if we have closed it manually already it won't be valid so that way we don't have to do it so on not valid we will just continue here and valid just goes through this part and i can also maybe remove this is focusable and just check and do it in interface while we're here and do focus ah, it actually has focus so we don't need that part anymore all right so this will fix the quick slots now if i were to again pick up some items um, my inventory is working fine but then set quick slot and then again after I set it I quickly close it I can still move and everything it doesn't turn off my input so that's one more thing done then there was an issue in remove duplicate quick slots we probably won't see it I oh, know it's this one here so attempted to access index minus one from array call, call map keys blah 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 of length zero in remove duplicate quick slots so if we go to rem remove du duplicate quick slots duplicate quick slots function and this one here it is because even if the quick slots are empty we're calling this function and then it's trying to find the value on whichever index and trying to check if it equals the duplicate quick slot and removing it but we don't want to do that if the quick slots are empty or if these values don't have any values so we just need to drag this back do branch before 
and we're going to check from the values array if length is greater than zero. That means it has some items and then on true we will continue. If it's false, we won't do anything. We don't want to run this function. And that will fix that issue. So now when I'm no matter what, when I'm calling the quick slots, I'm just setting it again. After this, I shouldn't have that issue anymore. You can still see I have the error, which is the same thing, uh, non-focusable widget. So I just open few widgets that still don't have focus. So just fix that yourself. And then I think this might actually be all of it. One more quick thing actually is if I pick up key and right click on it in a key inventory and click one of these uh, disabled buttons, it will give me player input. And that is just because in the key item icon, when we're creating the options widget, so here in the mouse button down event, we still have set input mode game and UI. It needs to be only UI. So set input mode UI only. Which will go from this widget here. That will fix that part. And then on the options itself, when we do on mouse button down event, so when we click anywhere else, it closes this widget, but we also want to return focus to inventory. Otherwise you have to click on the inventory so we can close it with the button. So we do have it set up here on an on key down event. We just need to do the same thing. So copy this part controller, this, and probably even the focus. We don't need the focus actually. So just this for copy go to on mouse button down and paste it here. Mm, flash input, this is all good. So now I pick up key, go to key, click on this. I can't move or anything, but I can close the inventory. And same thing here, if I click somewhere else, I can close the inventory because it has focus. So that is all. Now, if you clear this and try to play the game as well, you shouldn't have any more errors anywhere after you fix that focus or warnings. And you can actually even bake your game into like actual game and should be without problem. All right, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.